Hello again, I'm Tiro, and let's keep playing Final Fantasy Legend. Last time, we're in the sewer, going to the power plant, to get plutonium so we can erase Suzaku's barrier and actually kill him, like we're supposed to as good heroes. Do I run, a run away? Yes. And here we are in the electric plant. And the nice little thing is there's a ledge here, so if you wander off the ledge, you fall back to the sewer. I saw you again before. Lightsaber. The reason I take so long in doing these type of battles is because I have to think. This was... game was made, uh, you know, 1989 or 1990, and you have the old RPG mechanic is, um, uh, if you select a move and the monster happens to die before you do that move, you miss a turn. And so... What was I gonna say afterwards? Yeah. Uh, that pause I have is planning on how to appropriately attack these monsters. For example, I can use the prayer on the skeleton and, you know, the ruin and fire on the plant, but I couldn't, let's say, you know, automatically use, you know, fog on either of them because they have immunity to poison. So it's a little, uh, takes a little bit more of a precognitive thinking. Oh no, not precognitive. You have to think ahead, that they don't have as much much in need of in, uh, as in other games. And here's a uh, mini-boss, Evil Eye. You won't see this monster for quite a while. Kind of like uh, the poisonous frog with the bandit. So if Bryant wasn't tricked out, I would have uh, saved here and made sure I'd gotten a piece of meat to see what I could get out of it. But no need. And I won't eat it. Because I want to teleport and maybe get something like a karate martial art, now that I can afford it. And here on the final level, they are sneaky and remove the ledges so you can fall all the way back down. And I can run away from you because you're slow. And I've done this two times already. Now I'm going to do this right. I finally caught up with you! Drat! That's a deadly force field! There's a switch over there! I guess he means by the door. Leave it to me! Socho! I've shown you a real man, haven't I? You fool, you didn't have to do that. Take this band. Look after my sister. And now we get the very useful bandana. It's not the strongest uh, helmet armor, however, it grants immunity to every possible element and status condition in the game. I can't run. I ran from uh, three of you last time. And here we go. Delightful plutonium. Let's use it to complete the machine so we can neutralize the force field. And I'm overloaded again. I'll drop the army. Intruder, intruder, get him. And how can we have a post-apocalyptic Tokyo without a giant uh, fighting robot? And remember, chicks dig giant robots. Cat claw. Mew. I see, I see. I see, I see again. Should have used fire. I see, I see. Slashy fire. And you're a robot. You can't defeat me. I defeated God Beasts! Yay! And you bum, you didn't give me anything. And now, we're back at uh, South Town. Oh, I don't want the subway. Hmm. Strange. He's dead. What? He's dead. No! Yeah. Ooh, we still got the fight. Speak to me! Sayaka is in Skyscraper. Yeah, at this point we have Erase 99. Yay, that means you can dump this other jump. And are you empty yet? No. We still got one more. 
At this point, uh, Suzaku has seemed to kidnap Sayaka and killed everyone in town except the shopkeepers. Although also, the jerk, he's killed the House of Life guy. And so, now we can get monster attacks in town, as we just did now. Can I run away? No, I can't. Because that didn't happen the last time, and I should have been uh, smarter than to do this. Oh, fog you. Nice you. Cat claw you. Fire you. Let's see. Oh, I just remembered. I didn't talk about the dragon sword. Oh, I should have saved that ice. The dragon sword is a last racial weapon, but it has a very large selection of monsters to use upon. Basically, it would have been more appropriate to call it the lizard sword. Because it works on snakes, medusae, lizards, dragons, and sure, uh, chimera monsters. Chimera monsters are those birds that kind of look really beefy and weird. You'll know it when I show it to you. And here's a skyscraper. Now Suzaku doesn't attack us, but just normal monsters. Initiated attack. Good, that means I can run. And the skyscraper is pretty neat. It is a very large dungeon, and I'm using a map. Not one I got from a fact, but actually one I do when I was a kid. Let's use a prayer book. Get this over with. Sleepies. Oh, maybe sleepies. And maybe at the end of this show I'll actually... Oh no, I can actually do it now during one of the monsters. Oh, but my clock is blocking the way. Do I want to go here? No, empty room. There you go. This is neat. See, it's an elevator. And here I am here. And I forget how we're supposed to cross. I tried last time and it was no good. spell yet. Oh wait, yes I do. Yeah, now I don't need to uh, <coughs> play around with uh, using magics, because look, they just died. Yay, snow cat. All the way down, up one, to the right, up and come on. There we go. This room, we get the very nice and appropriate hyper Look at that. Beautiful. Very expensive item. Kills every automatic win of the battle all the time. Ah, here we go. See, that's a Tremere monster. Uh, Dragon Swords working against that guy. And I forgot to equip you. x kick. Power of Christ compels you and Dragon, because we can. And Ice you. What? That wasn't a one-hit kill? No. Critical hit. And X kick. Yeah, I'll keep using that because it gets extremely strong at the end. Dragon, you should have critted that. Nail. Die. I guess I don't really need to keep the prayer book around. Yeah, the skyscraper is very nasty as a mate because it has, you know, these type of. Um, Hidden mazes where, you know, passageways you don't see. And also, there's a lot of just empty rooms. Like, where I got the hyper, there's about, like, five of those. So, you can just go there and just miss out everything. And, can I make it here? Yes. Oh, can I run away? Yes. I'm almost out of time. Yeah. Oh, the Hall of Doors. So, until next time, I'm Tiro, and have fun gaming. See ya.